I, I honestly really like this show, and they've done such a good job. Also, today's beverage is brought to you by Icelandic, Icelandic, <laughs> Galactica, whatever. Oh my god, I'm about to keep my eyes on the screen. I don't even know who that, I don't even know who died. Don't even know who died. You're definitely not coming back from that. Guys, welcome on back to another episode of Ninja Kaimu. I think I said that correctly. I know some of you have been trying to help me pronounce it correctly. And you know, we still struggle. We still on the struggle bus, but we live in that struggle bus. But we're very excited for episode three. Let us continue on and see what our main character is up to in the world of ninjas. Whoa! Ooh. What? Ew. If you've seen the anime um, Bastard, the same band that does that intro does this intro as well. But let me know down below in the comments if you've seen the anime Bastard. Definitely recommend. It is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. This man's got an asphyxiation towards murdering people. Okay, why is his head so big? Oh, he's a... Oh, He's a small person. My bad. <laughs> I apologize to anyone that I offended. I did not put two and two together on that one. Dude, this guy is giving me Hannibal Lecter vibes. What? This man. Okay, so is this another ninja? Reaper? Or is that, is that Reaper? We're meeting a lot of ninjas this episode. I cannot tell who's talking. They both have masks. I hope it's the guy on the left. I think it might be him talking, though. Okay, yeah, yeah, he's the one talking. Oh my god. Holy. Oh my god! Oh, uh, Reaper? Absolutely a great name for that guy. Dude, this poor guy. He just can't he just cannot get a case going. And the fact that he knows ninjas exist now after seeing that. Whoa! I, I I would have I would have not pursued it, but I mean you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, this is boss telling him you gotta stop pursuing the ninjas. Damn! Mm, there we go. So definitely we got the higher ups, like the super elite higher ups are behind obviously the ninja organization. Our boy Hegan making some weapons. There's nothing like a good old revenge story because he lost his loved ones to really motivate our main character. Crazy. Okay, so he's friends. He's working with the FBI guy. Ooh. Donald Duck getting served tonight. Prediction. Maybe our FBI guy ends up retiring and helping him and they kind of become like almost like a, a partnership duo kind of situation to go after the bigger dog. No, oh, never mind. It, it could still happen though. It could still happen in the future. We don't know. We have no manga to go off of this as well. An energy drink? Okay. Does he not drink? Oh, okay. <laughs> he just likes energy drinks. Here, buddy. Here's a rain energy. I feel like I can see other people's words. I couldn't imagine taking an energy oh, shot. Stuck an energy drink shot. I love my energy drinks, but a shot? Oh, hello, duck. What a random moment. Just admiring cars together. <laughs> Man is a ninja and a ladies man and a car man all in one conversation. Well, game over. She's got questions. 
She wants to know about you, my boy. Oh my god. Man, she got everything in that car. What? Okay, I was right. This is cyberpunk. It is another version of cyberpunk. Just like 2,000 years before, right? Hey, David, my man, what's going on? Very interesting. Those images look like AI. Do they use AI images? Very nice. We're getting all the information. Back to what we were talking about. The higher-ups are about, like, everything. The real question is, why did the ninjas go after the other ninjas? If these other ninjas were just kind of living their life peacefully, why stir it up? Uh, I'm assuming they were obviously afraid of, like, information getting out, but they always feel... It just seems like they obviously... Shot themselves in the foot. Maybe he's not the ultimate enemy or the ultimate threat, though. Um, maybe he really generally just believes. Oh, well, not with that look. But maybe he generally believes his technology is doing well and he has someone that's backing him that's actually the corrupt person. Never mind. I take back everything that I said. And the plot thickens. Dude, how did he know? Bro. That was impressive. I wonder if it's Reaper. Oh man, not the poor beetle. Bro, our boy needs to get on his weapon game though. Let's go, let's go. It is not Ninja Kaimu who had an awesome fight. I've learned that so far. Doc Ock? Okay. This this opponent is very different from the the uh, sushi delivery guy. The whole six arms thing is very interesting. I thought it was a metaphor. I guess if that makes sense for how strong he is, or is it an actual like mutation? The whole six arms, I don't know, alien whatever you want to call it, is is very bizarre to me. Hopefully, we get an um, explanation for that. I thought it was representing maybe how fast he was. Dude, our boy is too good. Oh, he's got a camera. A robot? Oh, no, it's a person. It's a person. I don't know why I said robot. I take back what I said. ADD is a wonderful thing. That was, that was solid. So off the bat, I think I'm really enjoying the pacing of this show. Each episode has been hit after hit after hit. No complaints, honestly, whatsoever with the show. Um, I like how they are explaining everything and just how everything is going. So... Honestly, it just gets me excited for another episode. Let me know down below your thoughts of this episode and how you're feeling about this anime overall. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like the video down below. If you do want to see some other reactions, I do have my solo leveling playlist as well. We actually didn't get to watch the newest episode of solo leveling because there was a bye week this week, but there should be a new episode next week. But great chance to catch up. Love solo leveling as well, and I love Ninja Kaimu. More reactions overall to come. Thank you so much as well. Big shout out to my Patreon members, and I will catch you guys next time.